I need some coffee. Good morning. Can I get a uh, large dark roast with uh, heavy whipping cream steamed in? Oh, for sure. Anything else? That'll be it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Two ninety eight. Would you like to see it all? Uh, no, that's okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Ooh, the sun's bright. What's up everybody? Happy Easter weekend and welcome back to another video here on my channel and um, hope you guys are all doing well. It is an amazing day here in Minnesota. Um, literally have shorts and a t-shirt on and uh, excited because I am officially camping again. Um, camped in the van last night and I was sleeping uh, for those of you who've seen some of my other videos you know I have a couple different setups that I've done I actually have a cot uh, which was my most recent setup but I also build built um, a platform bed and so now that it's warming up here and it's getting into camping season um, I am experimenting with a couple different changes. That's one of the things I love, love, love about camper vans is I can literally pull everything out of my van in about two minutes, maybe five, and reorganize, um, rearrange, all kinds of things. So I've done another um, change here in the van and I thought I would show you, you guys this. Uh, just based on my sleep last night. I love the cot because there's some give with the springs, but I also know that I move around a lot and so sleeping on a cot makes me feel restricted. So um, I, I pulled the cot out today and I put my platform bed back in, but there's a couple tweaks that I made to it that I wanna show you. So um, here you go. So. Those of you who are new to my channel, I have a 2005 Chrysler Town & Country and I built this bed, which is a platform bed and bought uh, just four, I think it's four inch memory foam. The nice thing about doing this is that it provides a ton of storage underneath, as you can see. Um, I had thought about doing my van similar to um, minivan Lee um, who just uses kind of her floor but um, I like having the extra storage area one other thing I forgot to mention that I liked about having the cot was it provided like a a little space to walk along the bed and I also bought um, a little storage container um, that was great for putting some of the most essential things in it that I need but it also provided me like a little nightstand table and so that's why I was kind of hesitant to put the um, platform bed back in but what I've learned is um, sleeping is probably the most important thing when it comes to camper vans and so I'm going to give up the space um, that was available with the cot but Here's the solution I came up with. So here's the front of my van. And so I basically pushed the passenger seat up all the way, 
which allowed me the option to put my storage bin at the front of my bed. And then what I did is I found this large um, cutting board that makes a great tabletop. And then I just have this clamp on here so it doesn't move around when I'm driving. Again, if you haven't seen my other video where I talk about my platform bed, I'm able to sit up and I probably have a good three or four inches above my head. And the nice thing is now um, I, I can still use this table and I still have this front area here uh, for sitting. Let me show you. So now when I get out, I can come in this side door. There is a living space here, um, living space, hallway. Maybe that's a better way to call it. And then I can sit up and access all of my um, dishes, um, some of my other storage stuff. And uh, yeah, it works out great. Again, the nice thing is I can change it at any time. But uh, I really like this and uh, we'll see how it goes tonight sleeping on the platform bed. Last night, I think it got down into the upper 30s. I think it was probably like 38 or 39, which was a little chilly, um, but with, with enough blankets and then I have my little heater, um, I was pretty comfortable. Oh, that was the other problem that I had with the cot. The other problem I had with the cot was um, my sleeping bag tended to fall off onto that little lock space and so because it was still in the 30s that night I could my body could feel certain parts when um the blankets came off and so I was you know trying to roll around in the middle of the night and trying to get comfortable because I I could tell the blankets were off so I'm probably going to invest in either a new sleeping bag or a new designated comforter um just for the van but um as you can tell uh, I'm back to having a nice big bed. Just to give you an example. So, I have all this room. I can spread out and uh, don't have to worry about falling off in the middle of the night. And um, so we'll see. Anyways, with this setup, quite honestly, you could just keep piling blanket upon blanket and uh, put like 10 or 15 blankets on and be in good shape. So anyways, that's what I'm up to today. Hope you guys are doing well. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jamie, Nomadic Rev. Check out some of my other videos. I do know that I'm like most other channels here on YouTube and at least half of the people who watch my videos don't subscribe. So please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna chill out here a little bit and um, Enjoy the, the big bed. Talk to you soon.